more like symbols. My name is Chris Quinlan. Welcome to Melbourne Muso's The Drum Show. And what I'm doing here is really going around my cymbals, just providing a few little, you know, tones with the toms. But really, when I'm choosing symbols, I try and find tones. So, you know, they're not, I just don't pick them willy nilly. Or if I do pick them at random, I'll find out what they can do and I'll work within that. That comes from. Um, Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, 1974. A man's guts to know his limitations. <laughs> Did you like that piece of drama? <laughs> And what I'm doing here is just working the tones as if it was a kind of a movie soundtrack. Right? Now, with this, I'm using Promark mallets, the softest they have, really. What are they called? PST1 Soft. Now it's fairly apt that I'm recording this clip and uh, of this subject using cymbals and toms with mallets because I'm recording this on a day in Melbourne, Australia when there's thunderstorms outside. <laughs> When you're choosing symbols, even if they're at random, um, you can work with what you've got. Okay, and what I've got is mine old Byzance extra dries here, uh, 14 inch hi hat, 20 inch crash, bit of a ride if you like, 16 inch crash, 18 inch crash, and over here is actually, funnily enough, a, a 20 inch raw bell ride. But down here are the Benny Greb series, the um, sand rides, and, and or the sand series, I should say. I've got a 20 inch, uh, 22 inch um, uh, sand crash ride. Beautiful symbol. Uh, 20 inch sand ride. Don't have a 22 inch sand ride here, but I'd love to try one. Beautiful, and an 18 inch crash. There you go, China's extra dry and uh, a sand hat, okay, 14 inch sand hat. So I tend to mix them up a little bit. <laughs> so 
So, there's something about symbols, soundtracks, you know, atmospheric business. Try and get into, rather than just rock, if you love jazz, get into rock. If you love rock, get into jazz. If you like both, get into classical percussion. Do different things. Um, take away the movie and just get left with the movie soundtrack. What's the drummer doing during the lurking scene where the bad guy's in the dark lane, you know, in the back alley kind of thing? And then what happens during the car chase and stuff? So you've got, um, you know, soundtracks um, s that are coming out with more and more drums in them, Birdman being one. So, you know, beautiful stuff. But they've been there forever with classical percussion. The stuff Stravinsky did at the in the 1900s, you know, 1914 with Le Sacre du Printemps and um, some of the other classical percussion stuff is, is amazing. La Histoire du Soldat, The Soldier's Tale. When was that? 1918. Listen to the drums in that. So when I'm doing this kind of business, it's obviously mallet, very atmospheric. Some would say tribal sometimes. get something out of it. My name is Chris Quinlan. You're watching Melbourne Musos, The Drum Show. Um, essentially, I've had this show since 1995 and um, I'm still continuing with it and it's proudly brought to you um, by DW Drums, Minel Cymbals, Evans Drumheads and Promark Sticks. Hope you get something out of all this business. <laughs>